Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Supreme. This is episode 6, and in the last episode we hired our first chef. He's back there working away, and right now we are just trying to earn enough money to see what else this game kind of has to offer. So, it should be a pretty simple episode. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and manage these employees a little bit, get them cooking some orders for us. Uh, I don't think I have any business cooking the food. So, I'm just going to hit allow employee on some of these, and we'll, we'll make an order ourselves ourselves while uh, he cooks these three orders because <laughs> I'm an awful mean boss and uh, Yeah, so how is everybody you guys are still loving this series, which is so cool uh, I am really happy to keep doing it for you because it's a really fun game It's it's in the casual section of steam for a reason because that's exactly what it is just a nice sit down casual kind of game uh, And I just love the tycoon aspect we're really close to getting into here with now that we have employees and stuff to manage and and kind of uh, keep us on our toes in a different sense instead of just making pizzas. So, cool. I'm gonna make this jalapeno light sauce pizza. A lot of red peppers. There we go. I think I put a lot of jalapeno, so it's a little too much. That's how I like my jalapeno pizzas, though. And a lot of pepperoni. Um, let's kind of smear that all over the place cook there we go uh, it's cooking now so if I hit hmm, allow employee which one is mine that's cooking Uh oh mine is almost done uh, allow employee okay there we go nice I'm just trying not to burn my food low inventory we'll take care of that I got them working on things that's what I should be doing standing in the background ordering some inventory I can't believe I was buying all that stuff before oh my gosh it was so funny uh, we're gonna do... Oh, we got a good review! See? This is awesome! This is so much better! <laughs> oh, employee is tired. Okay. Let's slow down a little bit. I gotta order some toppings here. We're, we're running low on stuff. Uh, what's wrong? John is tired. You should send them on vacation before they quit. John just started! He's our chef! No, John's our driver. Uh, okay. Master driver, too. Let's send John on vacation, and uh, we'll get his energy level back up. And I guess now, since he's on vacation, I get to take deliveries. So that's that's a really cool aspect right there. I didn't even think that they would run out of energy. I, kn I knew that eventually their productivity would probably go down because they need a raise, and they want a little more motivation to keep working hard. But I didn't even think vacation time. We huh. But it is also cool to check on him and see that he's now a master delivery driver, which I suppose isn't the best achievement to put on your resume, but hey, you know, just kind of means you're good at driving and handing things to people. James couldn't have made a... couldn't have possible made a better pizza if they tried. Okay, so that's a good review, I, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead... Critic review. I must say, my friend, your food is something special. It was incredibly tasty, and without a doubt, I will do everything in my power to ensure that others know of this delicious place. Awesome! Things are going pretty good for us now that I have a couple employees. Uh, John's energy level is almost back up. I think it'll be back up once we take one more delivery. Kind of makes you wonder the concept of time in this game and how <laughs> how that all works. Preparation. Let's uh, let's see. Last latest delivery. Are these things that need to be cooked? Uh, if I hit perform, I'm making the food. Okay, that's that needs to be fixed. I don't know if I'm supposed to be cooking or making deliveries. They want barbecue sauce. There's some barbecue sauce on there. But now, by the time I'm done with this, uh, we should get our, our delivery driver back. And cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese is uh, still kind of confusing. Pretty big slices, so I don't want to overdo it. Cook the pizza. And employees... So, our delivery driver. I want his energy level to be all the way up. Uh, so, let's see. Cooking. I'm going to perform this last delivery, and then we're going to get our delivery driver back. They wanted a little more toppings on that pizza, but that's okay. That's why uh, it's important for me to get my chef doing things and not me. Uh, let's take that off. I'm, I, I did it again. I was ordering too many toppings before. Just caught it. Let's turn off the barbecue sauce. What else do we need? We need some more sausage, turn that off. We need some more cheddar, turn that off. Red peppers, uh, buy that. Cool. I might just keep it on default being 10. 
There we go. Some more jalapenos. Why not? That should take care of our... Uh, what do you call it? Lazy employee. So the heavy heart that our poor James is not pulling their weight. Many of the employees that in the shop feel it's unfair and becoming distressed. Oh, boy. I can fire or ignore it. What? I don't want to get rid of my chef. He's really good. I'm going to ignore it. If he's not pulling his weight... Let's see. Several other employees have taken a, the example and begun performing their duties less efficiently. This has lowered the overall productivity. I have two employees, and one of them's on vacation. Let's... Let's go to employees. Let's get, uh, John. Oh, he came back from vacation by himself. I thought I had to do that. Okay. So, both of our employees are kind of getting, uh, lazy. Mood unhappy. Uh, let's kind of raise his hourly pay. That should make his mood a little bit better. And we can afford it, because they're pulling in a lot of money. Well, let's raise his hourly pay, too. And... Cool. I think that might help. Applications, none, so I can't even get another chef. Let's throw some jobs at uh, James and John here. Okay, so. Maybe because they aren't doing orders, like I'm not giving them orders to do, they are being shown as lazy. We don't really want that. If there was an automatic way to make them do their job without me intervening, that would be kind of nice. I shouldn't have to tell them to do their job. But who knows? Maybe now that I've given them a raise, it'll kind of uh, fix all that. So I just have to sit in this job management screen, I guess, and kind of control them and tell them what to do. Hmm. All right. Let's allow John to take that delivery. And I guess we'll just kind of wait it out and see if some money rolls in. I have an interesting investment opportunity that's just been given to me. So I can invest $1,000, which I don't have, into maybe making some modifications to the cars that could have them go faster, or it could possibly slow them down. We're going to ignore it, because that just seems like a really stupid idea either way. <laughs> uh, things are still going okay. I'm just kind of waiting for deliveries to get taken and... Uh, you know, money to keep coming in, because I'm not really buying upgrades right now. I'm just kind of seeing how things pan out. We have, I guess, decent enough feedback. Hmm. So, yeah, it's just business as usual. You guys aren't really missing much right now. I'm just kind of clicking this, these buttons as orders come in. And I might even go... Let's check the upgrades real quick. We can do uh, coupons. We can do a few things for our... Increase the maximum inventory. We can throw advertisements out there. Sports advertisement, television advertisement. These things will all make us some extra money, but they all cost a lot. And I don't have a whole lot of money right now. I can add upgrades to get more chefs and delivery drivers. That might be interesting. So for now, we're just kind of, we're just chilling. Now it's become kind of a chill pizza game. So we've now broken $500 in profits, which is really cool. Uh, I think that might be about time to get some more upgrades and then maybe call it an episode. Now, the reason I'm still kind of in the mood for upgrades is because I haven't noticed any way to, like, open up new shops. And I think that's because we haven't unlocked everything yet. That's just a prediction, though. I'm sure I could go look it up. Uh, but I want to unlock some more toppings. Uh, let's get ham. Let's get anchovies. Uh, black olives. Some bacon. And chicken. That should be, like, all the toppings... All the topping upgrades I can get. Uh, and then sides, we can do chicken alfredo pasta, which is 60. Uh, Philly cheesesteak, $80 upgrade. And then a $70 upgrade of meatball sub. So there we go. We, we offer more things now, more than ever. More things than ever. Cool. And I think other than that, all I can really do is kind of sit here and bark orders, which is okay. I've started to like cook a couple pizzas, take a couple deliveries, uh, kind of take the stress off my two employees right now because ultimately I think I'm going to need another chef and another delivery driver in order to fix some of my uh, more pressing issues with their happiness because they're not the happiest campers right now. Uh, but luckily things are okay. Uh, I, I do have some money to get them, you know, the things they need to keep the shop running. Uh, let's turn that off. Uh, inventory seems okay. I was complaining about low inventory. I have way too much ranch sauce now. I did it again. Kept things selected. That needs to uh, stop. <laughs> Employee tired. 
I think it's time for James to go on vacation, which sucks because that means I have to cook, and he is a very good chef. He's a master chef now. Uh, let's throw him into vacation mode. I will take on cooking the orders for whatever reason, and I think from there we will uh, we'll do that. So we'll call that an episode. I think in the next episode I'm going to try to get us to a point where we can get more shops. If you guys know how to do that, please uh, let me know in the comments. Because all I'm seeing are these tabs here. It might be an upgrade, honestly. So we'll just have to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Supreme. Check out the channel every day. I post videos daily. Uh, hit the like button if you've enjoyed. See you next time. Just pull that in like that. And now we have a door frame kind of nestled into the mountain. That is really cool looking. I'm going to take the floor, fill the rest of that in. And I'm not really going to build up the actual uh, cave in there, you know? I'm just going to kind of keep it the way it is. Uh, maybe, should I put down a floor? Like, kind of like a pathway going to the back here?